Greetings, it is I, Eight Thoughts, the man with the golden voice, doing Sexual Stories, Episode 5. I hope you guys are prepared, fucking mentally focused, and goddamn open-minded for the goddamn massacre in Austin that's about to ensue with the fucking three greatest YouTubers in the fucking world. Hello, my name is Simple Minds, and I like to stick my penis in vacuum cleaners. Oh, stick it in the vacuum. Hey, my name is Six Pound Soft, <laughs> ladies and genitals, but you might call me Dude, Space Boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dildo oh, Space Boots. Yeah. Dildo Space Boots. Are you fucking ready for Dildo Space Boots? <laughs> it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. All right, boys and girls. Last week, we took a little trip, a little break, a little fucking hiatus away from the stories. We helped answer some of your questions. But this week, we felt we'd bring it back and do some fucking stories, as usual. Um, so who wants to go first? Fuck it, I'll go. No, we don't want you to go first, because then we got to follow. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck it. Yeah, let's do this shit. Come on, Jeff. Bring it. <laughs> bring it. Bring it, fucking Cobra Kai. All right, ladies and genitals. Well, back in the day when I was wearing my karate gi around at all times with my gold locks. No, I'm just kidding. This was a uh, uh, first year of college. I was dating this girl for about a week. and Well, not really a week, but after a week of some serious fucking, um, I'm, I'm hitting it one night from the uh, backside, and we're uh, laying on her side. And I'm just thrusting away, and I'm just pumping the shit out of this fucking vagine of my of hers. And, um, and I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but uh, as I'm pumping away, you know, I'm getting so into it. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, it feels so good. It's wet, it's sloppy, it's going good. She's fucking going crazy. My dick pops out and punches her right in her fucking brownie button. And she <laughs> clinches up, and when that happens, my dick pops in the middle. You hear this. You know, right in the fucking middle. I was like, god damn it. I was like, oh my god, I think my cock's broke. And then she, without even giving me any sympathy, she's like, oh, um, we could uh, we could try anal sex. And she's kind of, I mean, as I'm taking it, I'm like, okay, is, is this her first time doing this? So I'm like, okay. Jeff, I think so, you're uh, dating a whore. Or, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Well, this this happened a, to me, no, too. No, no, no. You this can girl, break your dick. You know that, right? I, I won't even say her name, but this girl is a trust fund baby. When she turned 21, got $15.3 million. This girl was a fucking whore and a rich whore, and I was willing to fuck her balloon knot but all night long. Hold on a sec, though, but, Jeff. You, John, you actually said you can actually break your penis? You can break your penis because when you torque like that, you can break the cartilage in your penis. You can penis. break cartilage, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and mean, what happens? Snapped. You have like It's called bent of- penis syndrome, right? Uh, I don't know about all that. I mean, <laughs> hey, don't you have a link to a cool fucking pic? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, my cock <laughs> normal to this day, but it did have a loud pop. You know, it was just like this. It was just like that sound right there, just, and uh, it hurt, but, <clears throat> excuse me, drink a beer. Anyway, so it, it popped, and without even her, like, giving me any sympathy, she's, like, ready to take it in the ass, and I was like, well, fuck it, I'll fuck you in the butt. It ain't my first rodeo. So, uh, <laughs> I fucking start fucking her in her ass, and it's, I, I thought it was, like, her first time, but it just goes right in, and I, I'm not saying, I mean, I've got a girthy dick, I might be, I'll be the longest, but, I mean, shit. You could fill up a tuna can? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can fuck. I mean, I was called Coke Can back in the day. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's like a Chipotle burrito. But anyway, mm. so I'm fucking, I'm fucking her in the butt, and it's just like, I'm like, what the fuck? It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, and I'm just like, this is, I'm like, this is fucking horrible. And then I decided, dude, this to look bitch at was it. a fucking whore. Oh, dude, classy, she's real fucking, classy. I mean, she's a dirty cunt, and I'll call her the c word. That's what she is. But the moral of the story is, like, I'm fucking her in the butt. I look at her asshole. It looks like a blown-out fucking Firestone tire on the side of a highway. And I'm like, this girl has been fucking ran. Time out. Time out. Time out. Where the fuck did you out, come up with this, Jeff? Blown-out Firestone tire. I'm serious, dude. It looked like chewed-up roast beef. And I'm just like, I'm like, this isn't your first time, you fucking slut. I'm 20. She's 19. I'm like... How many times have you been slammed in the fucking back door before me? But this is the crazy part about the story. So I'm fucking pumping her in the ass, and it's going great. And she's like, I mean, she, this girl was fucking dirty. Let's get this straight. And she was like, I want you to come in my mouth. Now, the point of this what? story is. What? Time I'm out. Fucking- time out. Take time out number two. We, got, we get four in this fucking half. Time out. Hold on. You're pumping her in the butt. Her assholes are stretched out big time. So apparently she's been fucking black guys. And then at the end, she wants you to come in her mouth. This is awesome. Yeah, this is the point of the story. I get, I went ass to mouth before it was called ATM. I didn't even know any better. I mean, I just thought this girl was a fucking slut, so I just pulled out. She sucked me off after going straight from her ass mm. in her mouth. She took a fucking warm load of my baby batter down her fucking cum dumpster of a mouth, 
And that was it. I mean, and now today it's like, oh, ATM, man, ask them out. I didn't even know that term back in the day. Hey, I just did it. Hey, real quick. Uh, by the way, there's a new strand of STD. I, I don't know if it's gonorrhea or chlamydia. Over, no, I uh, heard about that. Did heard you hear about, about that. Yeah, you can now get the fucking. 000, no, it, it started off in like Japan or China. What is it? people have it. It's you, unc- there's no antibiotic to cure it right now. And what yeah, is you it? get like cauliflower fucking throat. You get like chlamydia or some shit. So you can get an STD now. I mean, you can always get an STD through getting some fuck a blowjob. But this yeah. is like some a serious STD in your fucking throat. You're fucked for real, pimp. So yeah, I guess in, unless you're a guy that likes to suck cock, it's for the women mostly. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how the gay community works. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I, I don't know. Well, but, now if you make out with this fucking slut and you have a cold sore, you cut your fucking gums while you're flossing. I mean, you can contract the shit too. You gotta watch yeah, yourself. This this is like eight years ago, man. I mean, let's uh, I mean, let's let's be for real here. I mean, this is a while back. I mean, I'm I'm straight. I mean, I had my dick swabbed a few times during college and later years. I mean, I've had the Q-tip down the old urethra. So hey, I'm clear. That hurt you? Because I've had that too. Did yeah. That hurt? yeah. No, it doesn't feel good at all, but, you know, shit, I had to do what I got to do. I've ne- I never used condoms. I have a big urethra, so it didn't hurt me at all. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't believe in condoms, dude. Those are for sailors. If your kids are listening to this, fuck, you don't use those, man. You fuck naked, naked head. Bareback, baby, raw dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. All right. So that's my story. I went ATM before it was ATM, and it was cool. I, I want to touch on the topic a little bit, dude, because, I mean, fuck, I don't know. Kids out there may not know what the Q-tip thing, but, like, for those of you who do not know, when you think of an STD, you have to go to, I guess, I don't know how it works in America, but in Canada, there's, like, a uh, sex transmitted, like, Canadian health office you go to, and the doctor, they fucking literally take a Q-tip, not like a little one, like a good-sized Q-tip, they stick it in the fucking tip of your dick. And they, they stick it in there well. They get a nice swab the inside of your fucking urethra, which is the, the tube that your semen and fucking piss runs in. And they swab it in there and fucking, I guess, I don't know, I guess they somehow get the bacterial culture or whatever out of there, a virus, and uh, they test it. And it fucking hurts like a son of a bitch, so I've heard. I don't know. Have you guys have had it before? I have, and it doesn't hurt. Well, they told me I have a big urethra, and it was a female that did it to me, so I was kind of impressed with my uncut fucking anteater penis. Like, hell yeah, I got a big urethra. I've been cock stuffing, so. <laughs> yeah, you, your shit stretched out. No, I mean, it didn't. It, I'll tell you this, it didn't hurt as bad as having a catheter before, so. Damn, I never had either, man. I've, I've never You've been had a catheter, this. Jeff? Yeah. Why? Uh, long story, dude. I'd rather not get into it right now. All right. <laughs> Sexual <laughs> Stories y'all. Episode 7 with Jeff. The Catholic I'll tell y'all, y'all when this story's over. I mean, when we're done recording, for real, though. All right. All right. All right so me, me and John, I guess, we're going to talk about, I guess, humble beginnings with our sexual experiences. Hey, John? Yeah, you want me to just, uh, I mean, I guess, just talk about it real quick, and then you just comment? Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'll tell you. I'm gonna, I, I was going to tell a story about my first girlfriend when I first had one, and but you want to talk about some more. So, go, yeah, fuck it. Go for it, John. Rock and roll, baby. High five. All right. Well, when I was trying to lose my virginity, it was between the age of 14 and 15. Um, I was so nervous that, you know, I'd strap on a condom, and every time I was ready to do the deed, you know, I was torqued. I was fully torqued, and I got in, but I was so worried about pleasing her and if she liked it that I started losing my erection, and I thought I had erectile dysfunction at the age of 14. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't... Go uh, ahead. Go, no, here, here's the problem. I mean, why the fuck, I mean, even to this day, why would you care about pleasing her? Dude, I, I'm a love doctor. I don't know if you know this, but I'm becoming the love doctor of YouTube, man. Look, I want to please the females. I don't give a shit about me. I want them to go tell their friends that, oh, my God, John will make you see Jesus if he sticks his anteater of a penis in you. And that's what I was worried about. <laughs> oh, man, you're totally fucked up. I want to spread my load and demon seed all over the world and only for myself, by myself. And for self-gratification. Absolutely. I'm selfish. Dude, I've spent all types of money on fucking Trojan condoms because they've gone wasted. Once you get torqued and you go soft, you can't reuse that condom again. you got to use a new one. Well, there's your problem. You use condoms. You should just naked head all time. <laughs> I'm, not <laughs> try to, I'm not trying to catch something you can't wash off, Jeff. Listen, kids, if you're listening to this, you go get STDs. You impregnate whatever <laughs> fucking vagine you can get a hold of. You release that carnival load. You make babies, and you just get whatever what you can, wherever you can. Get in where you fit in. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've barely ever used cons in my entire life. I guess I've just been lucky because, I mean, as far as I know, I ain't got no STDs. Never had any. I've had I've been tested being an athlete and all that, getting blood tests and fucking STD tests and shit. So I'm gonna have to agree with fucking Jeff here. Fuck the condoms, kids. Go out there, spread your seed, impregnate women, and yeah. and, and roll the fucking dice and hope for the best. Listen, here's what you do. 
obviously your pre comes a little bit more powerful than that's got that's like your infantry of the army it knocks down the wall and your sperm comes in later on it's a little bit more powerful but listen if you're fucking a girl with no condom and she says she's not on the pill you pull out and you drop a fucking load on that face and you fucking cover her make some finger paint drawings on her face with it when you're done there is no reason not to share your load with her the bed sheets the wall the ceiling her mom, whatever you do, what you got to do. That's my that's my advice to all you guys. Don't fuck with condoms. The you only live once. I, I, disease, I see the abor- I see the abortion rate climbing rapidly. <laughs> it ain't my problem. I'm, I'm going to sympathize with you though, John. I had experience like that too, man. I've had sex experiences. I actually, you know, I did go against my own personal fucking. Uh, you know, mantra, and I did use a condom just because I, you know, this girl was really dirty. I was fucking worried myself. I didn't trust my penis in her vagina, raw dog. And I had the same thing. I went through fucking condom after condom, man. Like, I went through the, the fucking whole list from lifestyles to Trojans to fucking everything. Because every time I'd have sex, I'd get nervous, man. I had to fucking, it took literally about four condoms before I got the deed done because when I first started out too, I was a bit nervous, bro. I was nervous. I'll be honest. I, before I became a sexual fucking beast that I am, now that you all see me here on YouTube as Eight Thoughts, I, you know, I suffered the same thing too, John. So don't be bad. Don't feel sad. Oh, I don't give a fuck. And by the way, kids, uh, ribbed condoms taste nothing like ribs. Trust me, <laughs> I've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope empty. I hope you don't have a penis in that rib condom, you weirdo. <laughs> I, can, I can honestly tell y'all, the only condoms I've ever bought in life were just as jokes at those shitty truck stop gas stations on like ski trips that have like little things hanging off them like crazy condoms never used them that's what i had the only condoms I ever used while fucking a chick is because she had them are you that's talking it. about like finger condoms jeff <laughs> well no I mean, like, you go up, they got those little crank machines you put 75 cents and you get some condom and one's got like it's got like these little things hanging off of it it's just a stimulator clitoris and all this crazy shit never used them i just thought they were funny i collected these condoms during ski trips that I went on every year to go into Colorado. And, uh, yeah, that was it. Those only condoms I ever purchased, really. All right. Okay. I'm proud to say that. Yeah, fuck it. All right, I don't know. I guess it's my turn to tell a story. Is it my turn to tell a story? Yeah. How long know. is this commentary right now? Was, I, I, uh, who gives a shit? Okay, okay. This is. I won't even tell a story. I'll just go tell my first girlfriend. It's just kind of a funny anecdote. Story. What's that, John? I said, give it, go ahead and give us a 20-minute story. <laughs> no, oh, man. man. This is quick. Fuck you guys, man. Okay, this was quick. I, I was a great, I guess, grade six. My first girlfriend, I started like, you know, actually getting my dick touched and everything. And I was so horny and I couldn't wait for good looking girls. So basically, long story short, I went to this girl and I, I don't know if I should say her name. Her first name's Shannon. I still remember her name, but she was a big fat chick, but she had giant tits and she did have acne. And after school, we used to go into the forest and make out and fucking, you know, touch her, touch her titties and let her touch my dick and stuff. And like, I didn't tell my friends about this because I was fucking. What the hell are you doing, John? You fapping? Yeah, I Keep heard talking. that. I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking weirdo. I see the Skype thing. All here is this. <laughs> Keep talking, man. Keep talking. Oh, oh yeah, don't. What? All I heard was Forrest, and I thought of Edwards from fucking Twilight. Yeah, I'm Team Jacob. Describe her titties. What kind of nipples did she have? She had big areolas and fucking sharp nipples. Come on, tell me, eight. Tell me, Ben. Okay. So, anyways, I didn't tell my friends about this girl. Like, you know, every after day after school, like, all right, man, we used to walk home, and I would be like, oh yeah, you guys go ahead, I, uh, whatever. I just play it off, and I'd end up, you know, going to the forest and making out with this big fat chick named Shannon with giant tits and acne. And she had, like, actually even bad hair. She wasn't even really good looking. I'll be honest. She was ugly as dog shit. But anyways, man, I was young. I was horny. And that was the only chick I could get with at the time. And uh, unfortunately, long story short, my friends, I'm trying to make this as quick as I can. My friends ended up actually catching me in the forest behind the school, you know, one day making out with her. And, you know, it was kind of embarrassing. I was, you know, fucking the the ugliest chick or messing around with the ugliest chick pretty much in our class. And that, that was my first girl I ever got with. And that was pretty much it. Yeah, I, like I made it. it short, motherfuckers. There you go. <laughs> like Fuck your penis. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Ben. Yeah. Fuck. I try to make that as quick as fucking possible. Hey, fuck you and your Ellis pity. Wall. <laughs> wall. Everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Slow clap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatever though, you fucking pussy, John. It can't be keeping the erection up, you homo. You. <laughs> hey, you have the same problem. You I just dick. telling you that because I felt bad for you, man. I never had any problems. Hey, you know hey, what? I'm gonna, at hey, least I'm gonna when you're that young. Man. Hey, at least when you're that young, girls really don't know better. Like they're not gonna go to school in middle school and be like, "Oh, John couldn't keep an erection." Hey, my first time I lost my virginity, I fucking was half stroke and pulled out and fucking nutted all over carpet, dude. Yeah, half the stroke. one jump. 
No, it wasn't even a one pump chump. I was halfway in. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I really don't give a fuck. I yeah, I had a problem staying torqued. I don't give a fuck. I'm sharing it with all of you two. <laughs> this isn't the only embarrassing stories I've had in my life. I mean, goddamn. It, I've <laughs> That's nothing, dude. The, you know how many times I shit my pants after the age of 21 in college at fucking getting wasted and drunk? <laughs> I gotta, gotta cut shit. this off, dude. We, this conversation is gonna go on fucking ever, man. Yeah. Sex <laughs> was story up, episode man. six, man. It's gotta call the day because I don't have enough gameplay to fucking fill this bullshit. <laughs> All right. Well, man, that, no, my name is Six Pounds. You guys have a great night. X O X O X O. All right, YouTube. Stay classy and above all, stay black. Hey, you motherfucker, that's my catchphrase, you that's cocksucker. That's my shit. You stole it from me, from Floppy, you dick. No, I did. I've always said stay black. I am going to go to Floppy Canada and me and you are going to fight for that fucking right. Yeah, stay right. black. Okay. <laughs> the power. All right, whatever. Yo, all right, man. Eight thoughts fucking signing out. Y'all be cool. Stay in school. Stay in all the drugs. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires and stay black.